Hi everybody, Coach Jorge Capistani here, USPTA Master Professional and PTR International Master Professional. And this is video number two in a three-part video series I'm doing about why I, Coach Jorge, was an early adopter and believer in the TAUT, and that stands for 10 and Under Tennis, the whole initiative here in the U.S. and really worldwide that we're having kids play with the right size equipment, scale the, scale the game down to the proper size so they can have some more success. So uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about my big aha moment number two, which was the three parts to a shot. Okay, so when people ask me, why, why did you think this was a good idea to kind of make this happen at my club and kind of adopt the whole program to do it this way in the 10 and Under category, and I realized one thing. Uh, if you know my background, I didn't do a lot with little kids as I grew up in the tennis industry. I kind of was a high performance coach. I had some pretty good players and I didn't want to do a lot of stuff with little kids, frankly, because I didn't feel very good at it. Um, so one of the things I realized on those days where I did teach the little kids classes, it was very um, obvious to me what I was doing and it wasn't all that great, but it's the best I knew how to do, especially with the equipment that they were using at the time, which is for the most part adult equipment. So um, when I look at a tennis shot, I know as a coach that there's really three parts to the shot. Um, the part everybody thinks about is the sending part. That's the stroke where you send the ball back. But if the whole shot, if you break it down, there's really three parts. And the first part of the shot is this thing I call receiving. Uh, that's when the opponent hits the ball towards me and I start making judgments on if it's deep or hard, if I have to move backwards, left, right, make my adjustment steps, and I kind of receive the ball properly by lining up my body. And that's a very important part. Okay, so that's the receiving aspect. Then part two is the actual stroke itself where you send the ball back there across the net. And that's got a whole bunch of technique to it and you can go on forever on sending. And then the third part is after I send it, I have to recover back towards my home base or into the proper uh, position for the next incoming shot. Uh, and those were the three areas. I mean, I knew that. But the reality is when I taught little kids classes, I didn't do that at all. Uh, and I was just going to show you how I did it and how I think a lot of clubs still do it. And maybe this played out across the nation years ago. So I would get a six-year-old, maybe a seven-year-old, they come to my class and I would set up a nice little court with a bunch of cool dots and cones and all these cool things. And I would throw down a little circle on the court, maybe two or three, where the little child would come out and stand in there. And so I would have little Sally come out, for example, and I'd say, Sally, get on that dot. And let's say you turn sideways and she would get sideways and maybe she'd have her hands wrong. Let's switch your hands. You know, sometimes they have to go across the net and help her get sideways correct and then I would position her there then I go back to the other side of the net I grab a yellow ball I would lean over the net as close as I could and I would hand pitch this perfect ball so it would bounce and the second flight would go through the strike zone and then she'd swing at it she was working on the sending part and my goal was just to make her hit contact and if it came over we had a party but even if she shanked it and it went left or right I'd be all right you hit it good job Sally now go to the next dot so she'd go line up on that dot stop I would do another perfect pitch so there's not really any receiving skills being learned when I'm doing it that way uh, she would send the ball and then there was no recovery skills because I had to just move on to the next stop. After she had two or three shots, I would send her through a really cool, you know, obstacle course on the way back to getting in line. So that was one epiphany I had. When I, the way I was teaching little kids before the whole 10 and under tennis initiative and doing it with the right size equipment was very, very poor because I was only working on the sending. And I wonder just how many clubs and pros are stuck in that mode, only worry about sending. So I found personally that with the right equipment, um, they can start hitting the ball up and down, they can do some self rallies, and they're much more quicker to uh, add the receiving skills and the recovery skills because they can just kind of keep up with the ball. All right, so that was my, uh, my second big uh, reason for adopting the tenant owner initiative was the fact that there's three parts to a tennis shot, and I recognized in the old way, I wasn't even doing any of the first or the second. We were only working on this. It was very narrow and wasn't very productive. All right, so I hope that's helpful to you.